the world's most advanced cold wallet for the new generation of cryptocurrency lovers. So if you are interested in buying this decent wallet, you can find a link in the description down below where you will get a 20% discount. Thank you very much and let's dig in the video. What's up XRP family? Thank you for joining the video for today and here we go. We have a lot to talk about guys. Be ready. It's September. It's time for us to go. We don't want to wait anymore and I think we don't have to because by the mid-September this thing will be solved and we will see XRP at least with two digits. Mark my words guys, it's gonna happen sooner or later. Just be patient. So let's dig in some very good stuff today. We have a lot of videos that I want to show you guys. So here we have XRP Marshall. Interesting went live in August 21, 2021. Payments Canada has launched Lynx, new large value payment system. Here you can see 2018 SEI payment services for a digital world. Fintech conference Bucharest, slide 22. Now let's take a look at this picture guys. It's very, very good. What I'm seeing here is really good. See a chain blockchain DLT infrastructure with unique set of futures. Look how long they have been building this stuff guys. They are very, very far right now, okay? These things are gonna go live in 2022. And with live, I mean everything will run on these things. And that means that the XRP value is gonna skyrocket within a very small period of time. Private distributed blockchain architecture based on CNET, CS private network connecting 580 plus clients globally, direct or private cloud implementation, Centralized services for decentralized solutions, multiple DLT platforms, Corda, Ethereum, Ripple, Hyperledger, Fabric, etc. Now you have to understand that there is more cryptocurrencies related to this. Okay, R3 Corda, I think XDC is working with them. And then we have Hyperledger, which is Quant. So these are all in the same ecosystem and there is Algorand, which, do, which is doing the same stuff. So... These are the, the cryptocurrencies that are going to play a major role, guys. But I think Ripple is just far beyond anything that you can imagine because they have been building for a decade now, guys. Private permission network secure, open to interoperate with other networks, geographically distributed, European governance. Very clear, guys. 170,000 kilometers of fiber optics network. It is going to be huge. So I want to show you guys some videos about the SEC case and also related to other stuff. Let's take a look here. We have BitBoy, Roll, Paul talking. I've been saying this forever. Faces will melt. What's interesting about XRP is there is quite a lot of use cases. Now, I know a bunch of Bitcoin people hate it. It's not decentralized enough. I don't care. It's, you know, are people using it? Um, yes, a lot more than most people realize. And what's amazing about this setup is you can't buy us on any of the exchanges. And it's not in the Bitwise ETF. The Bitwise ETF is now a billion, uh, the Bitwise index is, you know, the top 10 index is a billion dollars. So the moment XRP is freed, they have to buy a few hundred million dollars of it, as everybody else can, because the exchanges will have it back. So you're setting up for a hell of a nice run if this clears up. What's interesting about see that like we are talking about major final financial institutions waiting just waiting for that moment that the sec lawsuit is finished and they will buy millions hundreds of millions of xrps because they know the use cases and they know the community behind it right now so it's not a small thing anymore so here we go if they don't really believe that the next question is why did they act like they did for ethereum if you have a fully functional network and you go ahead and you issue a token in that context, those early tokens will always be security tokens. And again, notwithstanding what the speech said, and we're going, well, tokens are mutable. You know, they can change. And that's what Bill Hinman said. And it's like, well, we don't really believe that. So, uh, so if you have a fully functional network, we don't really believe that. You can clearly see, guys. Him and is saying that they can change. If you bought it in an ICO, it's a security. 
There is no discussion about that. That was always the rule. And because they were in Ethereum, it was inside trading for them. They just let it go. Recently granted Amicus Curay to the court for Ripple versus SEC Lilia Tesla and former SEC staffer and Token Summit New York City 2018, just days before the Hinman speech. Formation. And also to add, you know, all, all of the communication we've received or limited um, guidance from the SEC from the enforcement side or proactive guidance stems from the fact that the SEC doesn't yet know where and how to act in this space. And that's part, part of our industry effort is to have that open communication with them, propose suggested ways that they could um, allow this technology to continue to thrive within the existing securities laws, but also know there's certain ways that there must be flexibility in the regulations to allow the um, tokens and, and the technology to continue to function. I think you're being very kind. Uh, what we're doing primarily is educating the SEC on what blockchain technology is, how cryptocurrency is utilized in that technology, because I think there was just a misunderstanding by them as to what cryptocurrency is all about. They hear cryptocurrency and they see fraud. And what we see is it's moving the technology. And I think that's where Brad came in and made an incredibly effective presentation in one of the days that we met with a variety of people at the commission as well as the CFTC. And so we got to hear the presentation at least six times that day. But it was so effective and you could see light bulbs going on in their, you know, in their heads as to, oh gee, we didn't really quite grasp that concept. Here you can see guys that the SEC had literally no clue before the Heyman speech what cryptocurrencies were. They just thought that it was fraud, that it's ICOs and they have to be regulated so they can tax them and stuff like that. That's the only thing that they were focused on. But they didn't think that it was a big thing for innovation. Steve Bichol's assistant Reg regional director at SEC gives his thoughts on the importance of the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. Let's take a look. To the, the enforcement side of it, uh, Steve, one of the high profile matters, Forbes called it um, the cryptocurrency trial of the century, SEC uh, Ripple. Um, and I realize you're limited a little bit what you can talk about on uh, ongoing litigation, but why do you why do you think this case is important? Yeah, well, I can I can uh, certainly acknowledge the filing of, of the action. It's been well publicized. Um, I can't comment about any anything related to the ongoing litigation in the case. Um, it was filed in December of 2020, also in the Southern District of New York, and it alleges registration violations uh, by Ripple Labs as well as two of its executives, who are significant holders of the XRP token. Um, it alleges that they raised over 1.3 billion dollars. Uh, since 2013 through an unregistered ongoing digital asset securities offering in violation of the registration provisions of the Securities Act. Um, uh, it's a very, very detailed and extensive complaint. Um, I, I, I won't get into the details of it, um, but it's obviously, uh, you know, a, a well-known digital asset. It's traded on a lot of platforms, um, has a, has a, a large market cap it's gotten a lot of attention um you know we our allegations are really founded in a very similar howie analysis um we've gone back to that as the investment contract um definition repeatedly um the litigated outcomes we've received so far have confirmed that approach so um we will we will see obviously um we're hopeful um, that we'll get another positive outcome in litigation. Now he's a bit nervous and guys, you can also see that he's very, very careful with what he's saying about the case. You can clearly see that he doesn't want to give too much information. He's just telling us what's going on and like, what is why they filed a complaint against them, but he doesn't go in details and he don't want to, because you can clearly see he's very nervous. At what point do they start believing? 2010, no one uses it. 2012, only computer nerds use it. 
2013, only drug dealers use it. 14, only money launderers use it. 17, gamblers use it. 19, only a small percentage of the population uses it. Only a small company is using it. And now only small countries are using it. Now, this is with, with crypto, guys. If you keep waiting and waiting and waiting and you think it's nothing and you think it's fraud, well, you should really do more research because crypto is here to take over, guys, and to stay. September 11, 2021, a special day in a time of change. 9-11, solar eclipse, World Trade Center destruction, 9-11-2021, 33 years later. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's take a look, guys. September is just a very interesting month. Survey finds Europeans want home countries to regulate crypto, not EU. They want per country a different approach. Here you can see, guys, be part of the revolution. These are all, just to refresh your minds, guys, these are all the companies with Ripple. Well, actually, not companies because there are major banks within this, such as the SCB, most, the biggest bank in Thailand, Bank of America. You have Western Union, one of the biggest companies in transferring money, Accenture, which we talked about, guys. Accenture is really, really crazy. So there's just a lot of things going on. All of them, though, they legally do not have to publicly disclose this because gra graphene is their trade secret. Now, here you can see, guys, this is a trade secret. Trade secrets are a type of intellectual property that compromise formulas, practices, processes, designs, instrument patterns, or compilation of information that have inherent economic value. Now, Pause the video and read this, guys. I want you to read this and then I want you to go here and read this also. The trade secret is information that is not generally known to the public, confers economic benefit to, on its holder because the information is not publicly known, where the holder makes reasonable efforts to maintain its secrecy. Now, this is clearly Ripple. This is clearly working out with Ripple. It's the same thing, only people are like the XRP community knows. They already knew that it's going to be big, but it's kind of a trade secret in terms that they don't want people to know. And that's what's going on right now. So these are the updates, guys, on the lawsuit. SEC versus Ripple. Letter motion by Ripple and Christian Larson. This is on 1 September. Then 3 September, we have the SEC's response to the Ripple defendant's motion. Then we have on 7, Ripple's response to the SEC's motion. On 8, we have the SEC's op opposition to the letter motion by Ripple. Then we have 14, the SEC's publicly available, limited, redacted, or moderately redacted letter brief. Then we have 20, deadline for the depositions of Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. Then we have the Ripple, defendant's opposition, and then we have expert discovery deadline on November 12th. So we are waiting, guys. It's getting very interesting. This is the Ripple lawyer, Sir Solomon. Shout out to that guy because he's very, very good. He's killing it in the courts, guys. Hello, Attorney Jeremy and Camera Review on Privileged Dogs by Judge Network. Scale of 1 to 10. Does Selman Telks kick up? One number, no, one number, no. 10, it's on like, like Donkey Donkey. Let's say what Jeremy Hogan has to see. Well, since I think the roadblock to settlement is the SEC, any critical piece of evidence they have to provide moves the meter. But until we see the dogs, I can't gander a guess at a 1 to 10 scale. So we just have to wait and see. Gary Gensler, the father of 333rd chair and committed to protecting investors and fair markets, has decided that the SEC will not admit that XRP is not a security today. Continuing the damage for thousands of XRP holders and harming US innovation. This is literally what you are doing, Gary Gensler. So cut the crap, regulate, settle, or do anything with XRP, but you will not win. Because XRP community is too big. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. See you in the next one.